Hi everybody, I'm Michelle. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'd like to share with you how I make a pear candle. How we make a pear candle. Um, I have a special guest here that's going to join me and this is something that's very near and dear to my heart. I've been on a 20 year journey to try to recreate a candle that I bought 20 years ago or more actually. So um, I've been, this has been three and a half years in the making and we do make our own candles. About 75% of all the candles that come into this house have been made by my husband and I and we really enjoy them. And so we'd like to have you join us today in making a pear candle. We're all about all things pear here at the Woodland Pear. And so please subscribe and um, come along with us while we do this. So here I've gathered my supplies and I'm going to get a little bit more organized and then we'll get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to plug in our pot. This is our wax. This is our Presto pot and this is what we use to melt our wax. So I'm going to plug this in and we're going to just put that on warm and we've got scale for measuring wax. This is a kitchen scale that we use for measuring our wax. Here's our spoon for not really mixing, well sort of mixing, but getting out the ear bubbles. Only used for wax, never goes in water. It's our wooden spoon. Here we have our temperature gauge for measuring the temperature of our wax. And there's our measuring spoon. And here's our wax. We're going to add, we've got some wax in the pot here, and this is a soy blend that we enjoy working with. And this is, this is Ed's thing. I'd like to introduce you. My husband is here with me. Ed, can you say hi? Hi, guys. So Ed usually mans the wax. This is a, this is a hobby, you guys, that we started about three and a half years ago during COVID. It really helped us get through a difficult time and it was a very nice hobby that we did something we did together. Also something that gave us something at the end of spending time together, these beautiful candles that we burn all the time. So anyways, this is our, this is our wax and he's going to put some more wax in the pot. And it's like I said, it's a soy blend wax. So this is our little uh, wax where we measure, where we melt the wax, and all of that goes on over here on the stove top. And I'm going to go over to my counter where I'm going to set up. Okay, so on this side on our countertop, what we've got is first, most importantly, we have the magic uh, book. This is where we keep all our candle recipes, and this happens to be a new book. We've been really busy this year. We haven't made much in the way of candles, so we've got a lot of room for this year. This is our 2024 candle notebook, all of our recipes, all that jazz, and there's lots of math involved. My husband handles that. We have our fragrances that we've brought up. be using today. This is a pro proprietary blend that we've been working on, like I said, three and a half years. I've made anything you could think of that would blend with pear. I have put in a candle, done all kinds of things. So anyways, this is the fragrances that we're going to be using. We have our little pipettes. We have a jar for adding our fragrance to. Another scale, you'll see that in a minute, but this is our little our little uh, kitchen scale. Again, this goes down to the thousandths of an ounce measure, which is a great thing to have. Calculator for, again, my chemist and mathematician. Okay, we have rubbing alcohol. We have our jar. This is a jar that I have recycled. I have a few of these jars and one thing that we do is we recycle our jars and we reuse them over and over. So these once upon a time came with a lovely fragrance in them. I can't even tell you where I got these but um, 
This is our jar of choice that we like to make three wick candles in. And I've bought them all different places and, you know, in all different colors and things. And I just save them and I reuse them. So this is our three wick jar. We have some little sticks for holding up our our wicks. These are cotton wicks that we're using today. There's as many kinds of wicks as there are waxes and all I can say is testing is so important. I can make this candle that I'm making here with you today in this size jar. I use one type of wick. If I change up the jar, the candle composition changes completely. So testing and patience are my two words of advice to you if you decide to start making candles. You, you know, please do this with caution if you do decide to get into candle making and make sure you do lots of research and it's really important to test. I'm still testing candles. I'm have given out some candles, but not many. I'm, we don't sell candles. I don't claim to be an expert. Um, I just do, this is how we do things. Uh, we have warning labels here. And we have a little wick placer. So first thing I'm going to do is, I do all the preparing. My husband does the math. I do the measuring and the pouring in that. So we're using a little rubbing alcohol today to prepare our jar, okay? It's really important that this jar is nice and clean, free of any candle wax. I do reuse these over and over, like I said. Um, they need to be nice and clean and dry. You never want to be mixing water with wax. That is not cool. So I've got my jar nice and clean down here, and I'm going to prepare my wicks. You want your wicks to be stuck down really good in your jar. That's why I'm using alcohol. These are little wick stickers that fit on the bottom of your little wick. Oh gosh, what do you call this? That I can't remember. The tab. The oh yes, thank you. The wick tab. Okay, these are pre-tabbed wicks that we per that we buy. We like working with. Although you know, when we trim these wicks down, we have leftover. We do make our own wicks as well. Uh, we have tabs that we can make more wicks from and so it's really important your hands are clean and free of any lotions any business like that and you just want these wick stickers to be on here very nice and um, you want the bottom of your jar to be nice and clean I also have a warning label and this is really important um, and again if I'm giving a candle, um, it's really nice to have a wick uh, warning label on, candle warning label on here, so that that gives all the information. And so I am going to let Ed wick this up for you, and I'm just going to take the camera. Okay. This is his job. Yes. We usually have about four, anywhere from four to 12 candles going, yeah. depending on the year, depending on the fragrance, depending on what's happening. And I'm just, I, I thought it would be a good idea to break in really easy and just do one with you today. So that's why we're only doing one. And there's but, a guide here. So uh, in the past, we've learned from experience, trying to uh, set it evenly yourself just does not work out well. So you see how easy that was. Let me just remove the guide. And they are completely... Uh, safely in the center, all equally divided. And then uh, Michelle came up with this great way to hold the wick. So, because you know, once you pour the wax, it takes, I don't know, four or five, six, seven hours for it to solidify and then overnight to at least really uh, harden well. Well, we also have pencils. <clears throat> pencils that we use but they don't look that nice for you know for you yeah. today so um and with the three wicks it is nice to use two skewers we used to do three in a triangle and it was a lot more cumbersome than this so um these look these look pretty good i will adjust them again before we actually pour the candle but that kind of gives you a general idea this is this jar is a uh how many ounces we use for 15 ounces of wax. This, okay, this is candle. a 15 ounce uh, liquid measure into this jar that we do. Yeah, so we're going to do 10% uh, fragrance. So 
that would be, you know, very simply, uh, 13 and a half ounces of wax and then an ounce and a half of fragrance. So then all together the candle is going to be 15 ounces. Okay, so there is a little bit of math involved there and this, like I said, this is Ed's job. And we're mixing in three different fragrances into this candle today. Actually, one of these has uh, may or may not have a little bit extra added. So anyways, um, this formula is really close to my heart and it's changed many times. Like I said, I've put everything in a pear candle you could think of to try to get what I'm chasing after. So anyways, we're going to go back over to our wax pot and get some wax uh, fill in that pot with some more wax. Can I pull that up? Yeah, sure. Okay. So we just, um, we buy the, uh, we get the wax by the case. And so uh, a lot of times, you know, storage is kind of a big deal and it's just nice to store it uh, in these containers here. Yeah, we just use these containers. They're kind of like a, oh, I don't know, kind of like a little bit larger than a shoe box or about a shoe box yeah. size. And this is just easier to carry up and down the stairs. And and to keep the, the wax nice and fresh and clean. So Yeah. We do have a candle room that I'll have to, um, if you guys enjoyed this video and you're interested in our candle room, we'll have to share that with you sometime. But this I think is... that should be more than enough there. Maybe I'll just add one more. Okay. There we go. And then let's just let that melt down. So as you can see, our wax is beginning to melt very nicely. And so I'm just going to take this little, this wooden spoon here and just give it a quick little, just a nudge, not really even a stir, just a nudge. And that's just, you know, air bubbles can collect in between those pieces of wax and at the bottom of your pot. And what can happen is that bubble can then come to the top and you can have hot wax that can splash. So you want to be careful and mindful of keeping a close, a very close eye on your wax. We still have this on a warm setting and that, you know, I'm just going to set our spoon right here and we're going to go over and measure our fragrance, but we just want to take a little check in on our wax. And Ed, would you like to take the temperature for us? Sure. Our wax? Okay. It looks like uh, 157 or 151 already. Okay, so we're at 151 degrees. We want to raise this temperature up to... 185. 185. And so we've got our pot set, and we're keeping an eye here. We're going to go and measure our fragrance oil. Okay, so it's time to measure our fragrance oils. So we've got our scale here. We're going to turn on our scale, and we're going to go to ounces. And we've got a glass jar you know you have to be careful what you measure these fragrance oils in because they can melt certain types of containers so we always opt for glass this is just a little jar once again we reuse these over and over we use these little jars for testing and all sorts of things so we've got our scale <clears throat> our scale announces pardon me and we've got our glass jar what we're going to do is tear out that scale okay and got a little pipette here in our first fragrance oil and we're going to add in using these little pipettes I found is the easiest way to be precise Tearing out my scale, and I'm going into my second fragrance oil. Tearing out my scale again for after each measurement, and we're going in. It smells amazing in here. We have a lot of, uh, we have pear, and this is like a pear with a little bit of apple in here, and maybe another ingredient or two or three. 
Um, we've made this candle with up to seven ingredients in the past, and it's just very lovely. So there's our fragrance oil. And we're going to give our scale a little spritz, keep this clean, with a little rubbing alcohol, and anything that may have gotten onto the countertop. And give that a little. Okay. And we're going to go back and check on our wax temperature. So our wax is completely melted and we're going to check the temperature. We're getting pretty close. We're, the goal is 185, is what 185 degrees Fahrenheit is what we're aiming for here. Okay, so I turned it off a moment ago and it's already cooling down. So it's starting to cool down a little so bit. So I think we're good to start. So um, we're going to measure out our wax for our candle. All right, so... Um, I just brought over our wax in the measuring cup here to the left. That's uh, 13.5 ounces, 1.5 ounces of our fragrance. Okay, so we're going to check this. It was just at 137, and we, the goal is 135. Okay, we're right at 135. Oh my gosh, I got lucky. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add in our fragrance. Remember, this was... 13 and a half ounces of wax and one and a half ounces of our fragrance oil. And we're going to set our timer. And I'm gonna stir this for two minutes. I want to make sure this fragrance oil gets incorporated evenly and all through the top to bottom and all of that. You don't want to get air bubbles into your candle. That's one other thing. So I'm stirring, but not too quickly. Okay. So we've stirred for two minutes. Now we're going to pour this candle into our, into our jar. So now we let it cool. So it's been 24 hours. Our candle has had time to cure. And as you can see, it's turned a, um, you know, as it's solidified, that wax, it's just a really beautiful color there. And um, so, Ed, why don't you go ahead and Absolutely. do the trimming? I think it turned out wonderful. Thank you so much for helping me today. Well, it was really fun, as always. So these clippers are very nice. You can get... Yeah, those are special for getting down into candle jars and things. Mm -hmm. Got to have a pair of those. Yes. And you tell them how So how we're trimming to... these wicks down to uh, actually about an eighth of an inch is what we usually trim. Yeah. Um, you know, just to err on the side of caution and I don't know that's just what we do so I'd like to take this over to the table and light it for you
guys thanks so much for hanging out with us tonight while we made this candle and I hope you enjoyed this video this is again uh, this is my signature scent of home it's just happy and it's just a lovely candle smelling like pear like a whole big bushel of pears and apples and it's just full of happy memories and love and all that stuff and thanks so much to my husband ed for hanging out with us too tonight that was a lot of fun he's a little shy but i'm sure that won't last very long but anyways thank you for hanging out and here's our candle and please subscribe and come back and check out some of my other videos at the woodland pair